very frequently worry and concern is when a person is moving to Turkey or buying a property here or doing investment here is am I going to get scammed? Yes, yes, you will. No, you won't. I mean, look, the good thing, let me show you the procedure of how it works. So the reason why it's very, very difficult for you to get scammed is because you're going to sit with the owner. You're going to make the signing, the document. The price is written on it. The owner is going to sign it. You're going to sign it. Yeah, so there's no middle cheating or lying happening. Yeah, now comes to the second stage. Yeah, you're going to pay a deposit. The deposit is given to the owner and the owner keeps it. And then when the time comes for the land registry, you're going to, now the agent, estate agent, is going to apply for the land registry. For that, the expertise report will be made. So the expertise, government expertise, are going to send two expertise. It used to be one, now it's two. So they have to send a private one and then a public one, yeah, a government one. And then they're going to go check to make sure that the valuation of the property is correct and there's no issues with it because if foreigners have a problem, then it's a problem for the government. It's a problem for the reputation of Turkey. So they're very, very careful about that now. Yeah, it wasn't in the back, back in the days, but now it's extremely strict. Yeah, so it's good for you, it's safe for you, but it just means, of course, you have to pay more for the expertise report. Yeah, so that, that's why you don't need a solicitor, because it's a waste of money. The guy ain't going to do nothing. Yeah, he's just going to pay him $1,000 for literally nothing. So the government expertise will go to the property, he'll do all the pictures, he'll do all the checks, he'll do everything. And then once he's done the checks and he's found out there's no other owners, there's no loans on the property. He's going to check this is the meter squared of the property. This is what you are buying and you are happy with it. No one's you know, doing anything. You're going to then pay for a translator. So the translator will come on the day of the land registry to uh, you know, translate what the documents are saying, what the land registry, what the expertise report is saying. And then that day, that you, the date that you're given, you're going to sit with the owner in the land registry, official government land registry, and over there, the exchange will take place, you know. So there's no, not much chance of something going wrong. Do you understand? So it's a very safe, very uh, easy process. Of course, th things get delayed, things get time. Uh, anything can happen. But in terms of the, the procedure, the government procedure of how it happens, there's not much chance of something going wrong or someone selling you something wrong. The only thing that can go wrong, and this is what people... This is why people should talk to me and discuss with me is that when you discuss something with a Turkish agent, they sometimes don't understand our mentality of what we want and what we need do you understand? and our requirements. So you might, the, the only thing that can go wrong is that you buy the wrong property in the wrong location. Yeah. Or you buy a property that's not what you wanted or something that you shouldn't have bought. Like, oh, that area is not nice or, you know, uh, the building is not nice or this is, you know, something about the property in the future or the area in the future is not something that you need. So, you know, like you have a mindset, like I made a villa about the, I made the video about the villa, if you haven't checked it out, it's on the channel to describe how villa life really is, you know, and then I made, you know, I, of course I push a lot people to get to the apartments because apartments is an easy life a cheap life maintenance is cheap everything is cheap life is easy everything's walking distance you don't need a car public transport taxi is very cheap and easy so and it's city center you know it's more safer in terms of not in terms of safety physical safety but safety that if you want to quickly sell it or you want to quickly rent it out or you want to quickly you know uh, uh, go somewhere or do something is very easy do you understand so i made a video about it you can check it out on the channel so location you know uh the surroundings, the building, the future investment potential, these kind of things are very important, which 99% of Turkish agents will never be able to help you. They don't know because they don't, they're don't. they not in contact with the local council. They don't know the future developments that are happening in different areas. Is there a new mall happening? Is there business opportunities happening here in this area? Is there urban regeneration happening? Is there developments going to be happening? Is there new buildings going to be made here? Is there going to be a construction going to happen? So you're going to be in a property where there's going to be construction happening for several years and you're going to be hearing bzzz. No, you know, so these kind of things you've got to be very careful of. And many, many people uh they make that a wrong decision so they don't get scammed but they make the wrong decision buying the wrong place you know in the wrong location so i don't even know what the video is about really. <laughs> so you know safeties uh in terms of buying property in turkey you don't have to worry about safety or getting scammed 
it's very rare that it can happen but of course if you come to us after you've bought a property and you say oh i got scammed or i i did something wrong we can't help you because you didn't come to us initially as i've told you before every single property or for sale in turkey we can be an agent for that property yeah you just have to send us the link and say this is what i'm interested in we'll either find the owner and we'll connect you with the owner you still don't have to pay extra commission you're still going to pay the official two percent commission that every single turkish agent yeah, by law is supposed to charge you yeah but the only difference is now we're going to share the commission so our agency will share commission with with the uh, with the agency that's selling the property or we'll find the owner directly and then there's no need for it or even better which is what mostly happens is that we'll find you an even better deal even better property because most likely what you find online is rubbish it's the dump it's the rubbish stuff that nobody wanted to buy so this is the thing about online you have to be very careful of what you find online is basically what turkish people don't want to buy so normally when a property comes for sale the agents yeah they either find out about it or the local people who live in that area find that opportunity about it and then they buy it if they don't buy it then they sell it online to find someone else who could buy it do you understand so you got to be very careful sometimes the location is wrong in that sometimes the agency are just advertising old apartments for old prices yeah which are not the real price and then once you've messaged them then they're going to hook you on and say oh that one is sold and this this will happen a lot by the way so you'll they'll say oh no that property is sold but i can find you another one don't worry and that's how you you're hooked on now you know so just be very very careful again as i said if you buy from someone else feel free i'm still here our relationship will always be good i'm here still to meet you at the beach we can relax and we can chill together we can do islamic programs together no problem but just don't come to me with your problems afterwards do you understand so this is what is do your own due diligence as i said if you want us to look into it then we will look into it at the beginning stage yeah if you contact the person beforehand then it's an issue so anyway coming back to the point that there isn't much risk at all when it comes to buying property in turkey because all the laws are there to protect you as a foreigner especially you which they don't do for turkish people by the way so anybody interested can uh, email me at, e at faceweezy at gmail.com which will be at the bottom and send me your whatsapp number preferably then i can send you the information pack and then we can Move on from there. Assalamu alaikum.